Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to World of Warships. So, once again, we are going to show off this wonderfully fun game. But today, we're going to show off the game from a completely different aspect. If you've ever played World of Warships, and you've played as a destroyer, or you played as a cruiser, or you played as a battleship, and I'm getting much better at the battleship, by the way, um, you got a really good idea of the game, but you have not experienced this game until you've actually played the carrier, any carrier. It is, it, it's completely different. It turns the game into a RTS style game and it's really, really, really quite fun. And it, I wouldn't say it's for everybody, but I am having an absolute blast with the carrier. Now, I'm, I'm going to be playing the Ryudo today and the, uh, I'll just give you an idea of where I'm at with the Ryudo. I actually have moved beyond the right Ryuto. I technically should be on to the Hyru. However, I don't have enough of the in-game currency to do so. And I'm not going to go and buy a bunch of in-game currency. I, I do buy the premium and I bought some doubloons, which is the uh, cash only currency that you can use to buy extra ship slots. So you can have more ships and you can also use it to move your commanders from one ship to another without any penalties. Um, other than that, I, I don't really use the doubloons for anything else. <laughs> so I, I'm not just going to go and buy the Hyru with real money. I, I want to be able to earn it and I've earned the experience to get the Hyru, but not of course the, the money yet. So as you can see, I'm at 880,000. I have a long way to go. So in the meantime, I figured we would show off the Ryujo, which is not a bad Japanese Japanese carrier. It's still pretty early. I don't know what the dates or the specs are of this ship, but it's 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 really fun to play. I, it's it's a really nice balance. Now I have taken the I have not taken the modification for this particular carrier that allows me to have more tor or uh, dive bombers. Yeah, d no torpedo bombers. There is something I can do to have more torpedo bombers, but no fighters. And I don't really like that modification. I like to have a little bit of defense. And honestly, if if you don't have any fighters, there. You, you can just get completely mauled by some of the, especially the American carriers that are really kind of specialized in fighter craft. So um, I do have one fighter craft and I have two torpedo bombers and two dive bombers. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's just play and have fun with this. And once again, just as a caveat, just so that everybody knows, um, this is completely just for fun. Um, if you're looking for a reason why I'm doing poorly or things that I should do better. I'm sure there's lots of those things. This is not about expert gameplay. This is about having fun. Now, I, I have been playing a lot of this game, so I'm hoping that I do pretty good, but I, there is no guarantee here. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm gonna be flying with a friendly Zuhio, which is a tier five. I'm a tier six, and we're gonna be uh, facing a tier five. So the, it's, the game is designed so there can only be a maximum of two carriers per team. Now, it looks like we have the advantage here. We have two carriers. He has one, <laughs> which should be interesting, but he probably has some other advantages. He does have a Cleveland and an Aoba. Those are really good anti-aircraft uh, ships, so I do have to watch out for that. So, as a carrier, you spend most of your time staring at either this map or at this screen. You spend very little of your time actually looking at the individual ships. Now, you can zoom right in and kind of see what's going on here. So this is our this is our carrier all fully loaded, ready to go. And of course, we use the number keys down at so 2 3 4 5 and 6 to manipulate our aircraft. So if I hit the 2 button, I activate my fighter group and I can launch them. So just like that, you can see them Launching off of the aircraft it, uh, aircraft carrier. Isn't that great? That looks so cool. All right, and we're gonna get our other groups off So three and four are both torpedo bombers and five and six are dive bombers now very distinctly different uh, the first off number two, which is my fighter craft. They are good at of course uh, destroying other aircraft now Against a I think we have a that's a tier five uh carrier that we're going to be up against so it should be pretty good i don't think we're going to see too much for fighter craft in the air but we might i don't know two I, so i also use my fighter craft for scouting of course because they're nice and fast right so i can actually send them to kind of wander around the whole battlefield and kind of take a look at things but i do have to watch out for anti-aircraft ships like the cleveland and colorados and uh ships like that that just are notorious for taking down aircraft so now we have uh two basic types of attack craft we have our Torpedo bombers, which are not actually biplanes, so it's one of the first times we see a uh, non-biplane craft. Of course, oh, and our fighter craft are non-biplane craft. I don't know exactly what 
uh, what exact plane they are from World War II. I should have looked that stuff up before I did this, but whatever. This is just for fun, right? Oh, uh, Group 2 is under fire. Hold on. Uh, what do we got? Okay, so we've got... Uh, what's this? That's a Cleveland. We've got to watch out for the Clevelands. Clevelands are dangerous against aircraft. And then, of course, we have our torpedo bombers. They are pretty, pretty little biplanes. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? But highly effective. So the torpedo bombers are definitely the most dangerous of all the craft that we have. Uh, but I like to get everybody kind of grouped up. Um, now, I generally use the torpedo bombers differently, quite differently than I use the dive bombers. The dive bombers are great against, uh, against uh, fast-moving craft like the destroyers. They're great for causing fires and incapacitating and stuff like that. So I generally like to keep those on the destroyers. And I try to do them, stagger them a little bit. So I will send one torpedo bomber off to attack and then wait a minute and then second, send the second one. That way, if he, if he uses his repair function, um, there's a little bit of a, a time discrepancy. So if he uses a repair function on the first go round and I set him on fire the second time I hit him with the second group, of course, it may actually permanently disable them, even kill him. So they're not terrible. It's not a terrible, uh, they're not terrible. Die bombers aren't terrible, but at this stage in the game, they're, they're not great. Torpedo bombers, however, are fantastic. I'm gonna send our aircraft, our um, fighters to take on these his torp uh, dive bombers, though, yeah, and actually his carrier is probably just over here too as well. So we're actually going to send our torpedo bombers in behind. We better start moving here, otherwise uh, we may run into trouble. <laughs> send our carrier over here, and of course, two is attacking. Our fighter group is actually attacking their torpedo or our dive their dive bombers. This is pretty cool. I never watch it from this screen, of course, because. It's, it's just gratuitous. It's totally gratuitous and totally unnecessary when you're playing the game, but it's super fun to do, and I'm doing it for you guys. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But anyway, <laughs> let's actually get to work here and do some, do some stuff. Okay, so we've got our dive bombers are actually on this guy. Perfect. And we're going to send our second one in now. So you want your dive bombers to actually be hitting them so that there's the most opportunity to, most, to hit the most surface area, like that. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they hit, even if you do hit, hit them at an angle like that, but you're best off hitting them dead on in front or dead on behind. And you can manually decide where you're going to attack to like that. Yeah, it was a little off there, but we did hit him. We incapacitated him and set him on fire. And may, he may have already used his, his, uh, his, uh, whatchamacallit, his repair. So he may actually be dead there. That's actually pretty cool. So we're going to send our dive bombers after this carrier. Or, sorry, this, uh, not carrier, battleship. Uh, dive bombers are exceptionally good against battleships because battleships just don't have the maneuverability to dodge uh, torpedoes. And torpedoes are fantastic. Now, I can actually manually tell my torpedo bombers where to hit or land those torpedoes like this, which is generally a really good idea against expert pilots because a lot of times they're really good at... Oh, we only got that one in. That's okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, I would love to get that double hit. Yes! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so there we go. Now, of course, our, pla our planes will come in and they will refuel. Oh, did I lose my... I wasn't paying attention. I'm talking. That's the downside to doing this and talking. Um, yeah, see, I lost my fighter group. They must have got hit by somebody. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. So, yeah, it takes about 15 seconds for your groups to get recharged on your aircraft. Carriers, so it's good to have your aircraft carrier fairly close to the action, but definitely not too close, right? And we've got to get out of here because we're going to be in serious trouble. And it would be so embarrassing to lose uh, our air aircraft carrier the first time I show it off on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but it is it is completely possible and rational to think that that might happen because uh, when you're talking it, it changes the game. We're actually gonna see well, who's this guy? He's a phoenix. I, you know what? We're gonna send our dive bombers after him and maybe kind of shake him up a little bit, make him think about what he's done or about to do. And we might even send our torpedo bombers after him because he's awfully close, and I don't like that at all. So, like I said, you can't actually manually dictate where your torpedo bombers are gonna or your dive bombers are gonna go. Um, by holding down the out button, but uh, generally speaking, I don't think that's completely necessary. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna send this guy to attack from the other side. Might be a little bit easier for them. Here they come. 
Get them, boys! Group six. There we go. We're gonna send our other groups up in the air as soon as they're ready. Oh, nice shot. We got him again. We actually, if he hadn't hit his repair before, we, he may actually be in serious trouble. No, he just hit his repair and killed that fire. He had, he got those crews out there right away. Fantastic. Okay, so that's... Did, is the other carrier dead? No, no, he's still alive. He's still kicking around here somewhere. But, see, I made that Phoenix think about, uh, think about what's going on. That way he may not be as aggressive. He may actually start to think about what he's going to do. Okay, what do we got here? So we've got an Aoba. He, Aoba generally has pretty good anti-aircraft. So I'm hoping that our friendlies will kind of take him on quickly. Uh, there's the enemy carrier. That is what I was looking for. So what do we got here? He's probably got uh, Cleveland. Of course he's got a Cleveland here to protect the carrier. So we're going to kind of get our fighters in a place. Oh, actually, let's get... We're going to send uh, some torpedo bombers to harass. I uh, don't want to harass that Aoba, but he is hes going to be a problem. He is going to be a problem. We're going to have to maybe deal with him. So let's let's do that. So let's... We're going to really mess with him, I think. I think we i think we can probably take him out as long as... Yeah, three. Three. Hold on. Three. No. There we go. No, no, no. Don't do that. Oh, you dummy. There we go. There we go. We should have got him. Should have got him. There we go. Yes. Nice big spread. Look at that. Beautiful. Excellent. Ah! Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, you know, you really want to be careful where you're placing your shots. And, you know, don't just click on a target. You decide which angle you're going to... Because you want to hit him on the broadside, right? And it's good to have a nice little spread, too, as well. I think we're going to get this, uh, this torpedo bomber. <laughs> there we go. Yes, we'll take him out as quickly as possible because he's coming around. Now, we do have some dive bombers that are about to start causing us problems. We're going to get our other planes in the air because we have our, our dive bombers ready to go. Now, the, end, the our, this particular aircraft carrier has some pretty good anti-aircraft, but mm, if they stick around too long... Uh, yeah, we might have a... In other words, if they send... Against torpedo bombers, right? There's not much you can do, right? You get enough torpedo bombers on you, you're toast. <laughs> uh, all right, group three is ready to go. It's really tough to talk and do this at the same time because there's there's really... There's a lot going on, right? And you want to micromanage some of it, and it's and it's tricky. All right, so let's get... Let's get working on this guy. Let's get this... Oh, yeah. Darn it, I would have sent him around. Oh, that's, no, 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 oh man. Now, if you get stopped by a fighter, in other words, your fighter gets stopped by a fighter, they they will actually, uh, I, I don't know what the word is, but they will stop you from doing anything. They'll pin you, that's, that's what it is, they'll pin you. So six, we'll get another guy on him too as well. Three, we're gonna get some torpedoes on him. There we go. Ha ha ha! Oh, you're toast, buddy. Oh, that was maybe... Oh, one hit. That's good. We might cause some flooding. Six. Oh! Nice! Yeah, he's he's in trouble. He's... I don't know if we caused flooding there. I think we did. Yeah, he's toast. Yeah, he's completely toast. <laughs> but he... Uh, that pretty much eliminates all the threats. We've got two kills so far. Five. Six torpedo hits. Uh, we're doing actually pretty good. Doing pretty good. It's excellent. <laughs> excellent. All right, so let's get some more planes up in the air and uh, cause some more pain. Now, I this is this this particular game is about taking control points. So I'm a little concerned that we don't have control over B. Uh, it does give them an advantage. They have more points than us, and whoever hits a thousand first wins. Now we do get points for killing ships. Um, however, I don't know if we'll be able to kill ships fast enough uh, to win this battle at this point because, um, I don't know, we got to take out this, this battleship. So this guy is a Wyoming, shouldn't be any problem at all. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, oh, got this guy. He's a problem too. All right, let's, is he an Aoba? No, he's a Merman. Okay, so let's, uh, let's set our dive bombers on him. Normally I would stagger him, but I don't think... Oh, he's, he's dead, actually. Good job. Little Destroyer got him. That's fantastic. Well done. Well done. Let's get on this Destroyer here, because he is going to be a problem. Actually, we're going to send one 
dive bomber first and we'll wait on the second. We're gonna get our torpedo bombers over here and maybe we'll hit this battleship on both sides. No, I think we'll just hit them from one side. All right, here we go. And maybe we'll, I don't know. You can tell immediately what how good of a pilot a ship pilot or a ship captain is. Um, as soon as you start sending planes after him, if they start moving right away, you know you're gonna have to play with them. So we're gonna actually send torpedoes from both directions <laughs> and really try to mess him up because, uh, hold on, what's our other groups doing? The right. enemy is about to win. Yeah, we gotta take care of him like right now. Group right. Three. We are under attack. Let's see, he's not Group moving. Three. He's toast. Enemy. Yeah, they don't care either because they've got that control point. We need to kill him badly. Uh, we're gonna kind of change that. Now, like I said, we could manually get in there, but he's not even moving. Uh, we probably would have been done better if we'd have. Uh... Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Oh. He's probably flooding now, but he's not turning fast enough. Like, he should have started turning ages ago if he was to prevent this damage. <laughs> Perfect. And just to be sure, we're going to send our last torpedo bomber, or dive bomber, on him too as well. He is flooding, for sure, and he's probably just used his repair, but I want to ensure that he goes down quickly. <laughs> or maybe we, should, uh, we shouldn't waste it on him. Nah, we will. That's fine. We may not win this battle. We're, they're already at 900 points. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the carrier. This, like I said, it's a completely different experience from everything else. Oh, we could have aimed that a little bit better. Oh, well. Too late now. Uh, what's our group two doing? Oh, done. <laughs> he sank. He flooded. Ta-da! That's three kills. <laughs> uh, so they still have their carrier um, and a couple battleships. And honestly, we need to get somebody on control point B. Uh, but looks like our guys are just being paralyzed by these these guys here. So I guess we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, we're going to send group two to go attack him so our, our fighter group can go take him out. Uh, we lost contact with him, but that's okay. I feel like I'm, the, I'm doing a lot of work here. Doing a lot of work here. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but it feels like I'm doing a lot of work here. Okay, so let's get some torpedoes on this guy. And... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hit him twice, and just to be sure, because he is a Murmansk, and I think Murmansk is a premium ship, a Russian premium ship, and I don't know what kind, I don't think it has great anti-aircraft, but I'm not sure, but I don't know, I guess, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> Group 2 is currently attacking some torpedo bombers, whoops, there we go. Excellent. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, torpedo bombers can have tail gunners and stuff like that, but it doesn't look like this guy has much of anything. <laughs> Looks like he's, he's 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 in big trouble. Yeah, he's in super big trouble. All right, so let's watch the action as it unfolds. See, this guy's turning already. I can tell. He is, he is a better pilot, so we're actually going to get right in there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So... It, you have to be sure that you give a, enough space for your... Oh, no, 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 don't! I didn't need to launch there. Dang it. That's okay. There's sort of a point of no return when it comes to torpedoes. Man, I totally... <laughs> he outmaneuvered us totally there. Oh, we may still actually get him. Look at... Nice Wade's interesting spread. No, he navigated that like a pro. That was brilliant. Good flying. Excellent flying, actually. Excellent. I know I say flying, but I don't know what else to call it. Driving, I guess. <laughs> I guess you drive a ship. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, he navigated through all of those torpedoes. He is definitely better than what I've seen so far. And he's flying a premium ship, or driving a pre premium ship, which means anybody can come along. But he is on fire. Not not because of us. He's on fire because of uh, this cruiser, I think, is shooting high explosive. Yeah, he's done. Okay, so they, we've got to get somebody on that command point, like, now. Um, otherwise, we're going to lose this battle. I'm going to get my carrier kind of moved in there because um, it may get to a point where we, you know... No, I think I think our guys... I think we're going to get him. But we are getting close to this battleship. It looks like this might be an AFK guy. I don't know. Um, we need to get some scouting over here because I have no idea what's going on anymore. So there's just two battleships and a carrier. There's the other battleship. Okay, so let's get this battleship. And you can actually turn that thing here, which makes it a little... Turn your little uh, 
angle of attack here, which is kind of nice. And I think we'll get our torpedo or our dive bombers on this guy right away too. Maybe catch him on fire. And then when our guy, he'll, maybe he'll use up his repair and then our guys will get in there, torpedo him, and then he'll flood or something. That'd be kind of cool. And I guess we'll go after these dive bombers. Yeah, and if I'm missing things, it's mostly because I am... I'm chatting at the same time, and I, and I do miss things when I'm chatting, uh, generally with YouTube, but with a game like this, there's a lot going on, right? A lot to keep track of. Great. He's on fire. Perfect. So, the, even though the dive bombers don't do a lot of damage, to set something on fire is huge, actually, sometimes. It can be uh, really, really helpful. So, here we go. We've got our torpedo bombers coming in, and kind of got a nice angle on them, and maybe we'll get in a little bit closer. I don't know. We'll wait until we get a little bit closer before we make that decision. And there's kind of that point of no return uh, where you can't uh, see he's he's changing. Ah, ah, man. Our victory is hey, come around, come around, come around. Four, I want you to come around this way too. Yes. There we go. Get a nice spread on him. Three, I want you to stop doing what you're doing. Three, I'm going to manually control where you're placing. There we go. Right here. Perfect. We got him. We got him. Four. I'm going to manually control your torpedoes as well. Just like that. Perfect! We've got him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Watch this. Watch this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Nice! Okay, all that's left is an AFK carrier. That brings us up to four kills, guys. Four kills. And we're going to send our bombers off. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And we've taken control of that center area, which is fantastic. Actually, this is this is going quite well. Uh, I'm I really can't complain. Uh, it looks like uh, Group Two is coming back for some rearming and resupply. So you have so many fighters on your aircraft carrier now, as you loot or so many planes on your aircraft carrier, and as you lose them, of course, uh, you start to get uh, eventually your groups. Like right now, we have possible groups of four but eventually you know you can get to a point where you're only launching groups of two and stuff which is not not very good at all <laughs> um yeah it looks like he looks like they've given up <laughs> i i'm actually not that surprised um at this point in the game i think there was no that yeah it looks like they took care of that other uh battleship it is gone now i think it was an afk battleship it's too bad for them that's that's terrible when people join a game yeah all right he is on fire <laughs> yep, he is in trouble. He is in trouble. All right, we're going to send off our bomb, our torpedo bombers as well and finish him off. But yeah, that was that was really good. That was really good. Um, yeah, four kills, eight torpedo hits. Or sorry, uh, 12 torpedo hits, um, eight hits in total for the uh, dive bombers. Yeah, that's it. It's all over. That was awesome. I hope... I hope I didn't just babble nonsensically, nonsensibly through the whole thing because I'm trying to focus on the game as well. I hope you really enjoyed um, the carrier experience. I am loving the carrier. It requires a lot of concentration. So uh, I know I, I, please don't complain about things I did wrong because I know I did things wrong in this battle. And uh, it's just because I'm trying to explain things and talk at the same time and try to be entertaining. And I, I just, I, but it, it's really, really fun. And nowhere here did I say that this is about learning. This is about just having fun. So anyway, we made a lot of, a lot of experience on that one. That was really good. And 288,000 credits. So that's awesome. That goes towards our Hyrule. Hopefully we get the Hyrule. <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced. Hiru, Hiru, Hiru. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And maybe next time we'll do a little bit of uh, play in the destroyer or the battleship. I am getting way better at flying the battleships now. Um, it took me a while to kind of get used to how to control and manage the armor piercing rounds and the long distance artillery but i think i'm getting pretty good at it anyway guys um so next time maybe we'll do one of those two i'll let you guys decide oh 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 before i go lots of you guys have said you would love to play with me and i would love to play with anybody who would love to play with me <laughs> honestly and i you know i'm willing to uh you know, if you only have tier three or something, I've got some tier three stuff. I'll play that, sure, no problem. Um, but I go, I'm, I'm pretty much almost up to tier seven. So anything in that range, I would love to play with you. Just come and find me. I am Deluxe on World of Warships, and I would love to play with you. If you have some way to communicate via microphone, that'd be fantastic. But even if you don't, that's cool too. We just kind of decided what our plan is and maybe we could kind of type it out before, before we actually go and we play. But I would love to play with 
anybody from my community. I, I think that would be super fun, and I would be totally willing to do that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed our second little romp into the world of warships. Take care.